Good morning or afternoon, boys and girls. Now that we're completed with our mock trial, or maybe we're not just yet, um, we want to review a couple of things, teach a few new things quickly before we assess on the judicial branch. The first thing I want to review are the 13 steps to a criminal case. I gave you a study tool. This should be glued in your notebook, so please let me know if you don't have this. Again, pause the video as needed to make any um, pauses so that you can catch up. The 13 steps begin with a rest, and one of the easiest ways to remember this is to create a mnemonic device. That mnemonic device was about my Aunt Betty. So hopefully you remember the statement, Aunt Betty picked grapes in Allegheny, Pennsylvania. She offered warm cans, very sweet. Each one of those words in that three-sentence statement gives you a hint to the order. So, ant stands for arrest. Betty stands for booking. So somebody commits a crime, is arrested, they're booked or photographed, and um, their fingerprints are taken. Picked stands for preliminary hearing. This is where the judge and the prosecution get together to see if there is possibly enough charges to um, take somebody to court for breaking the law. Grapes, grand jury hearing. This is where a group of citizens get together and they examine all the evidence and see if it points to a potential conviction. If that is the case, then a person is indicted. This means officially charged with a crime. After that, a person is arraigned, which means they are brought to court to hear their charge and they enter a plea. Guilty, not guilty, no contest. We should remember those. P, the last part of the first sentence, Pennsylvania, will stand for pre-trial motions. So this is the last step before there is a trial. O.J. Simpson, we had mentioned before, had to have a pre-trial motion to have the trial in a different county because so many people, millions, about 90 million, I guess, saw him driving away 90 miles an hour on the federal highway, away from the crime scene. Not great. All right, now we're into the trial portion. She stands for selection of pettit jury. This is where people are picked to serve as jurors. Offered opening statements. From here on out, just think of our mock trial and you should be good to go on the last five or so. Opening statements where the prosecution and defense share their theories. Warm stands for witness testimony where we hear the accounts of people who know things. Cans stands for closing statements where the prosecution and the defense summarize their theories one final time and what they have proved through witness testimonies. Very stands for verdict and sweet stands for sentencing. All right, one more time, very quick. Aunt Betty picked grapes in Allegheny, Pennsylvania. She offered warm cans, very sweet. Here are the steps, arrest, booking, preliminary hearing, grand jury hearing, indictment, arraignment, pretrial motions, selection of pettit jury, opening statements, witness testimonies, closing statements, verdict, and sentencing. Please study this up. This is definitely on your test, and you're going to want to score well. It is a standard. Good luck.